Today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Speech Jammer program. It's uh, a lot of fun to mess with your friends with this and everything like that. Uh, it's the Speech Jammer Lite, but it I'm not sure what the full version has that's different, but the Lite version works just fine, so really it's it'll work for you. Um, first thing you need to do is just go to this website. Um, I'll have a link to it down in the description for the video. and. Uh, this is the application that you're going to need to download right here, but you're going to need DirectX as well. If you play any video games, then you probably already have DirectX installed, or if you certain online videos require it as well. So um, you can download it right there, like if you click here, or I'll have a link to it as well in the description. It's a pretty big file, like I'll start downloading it here. It's going to, when you hit download, it's going to pop up with this window. Just hit no thanks and continue, and then it'll start downloading uh, DirectX down at the bottom. So it's a 100 meg file, so depending on how your internet is, it might take a while or it might be pretty quick. For me it's going to be three minutes, so not too bad. And once you get it downloaded, it's going to be a uh, executable file, so just run it and install the program, and then you're good to go. It just takes a minute to install, so uh, I'll let you figure that out. It's super easy. Um, also, it's going to need .NET, so if it comes up saying that you need .NET, then it should have an option to download it, or if you want to just check if it's up to date already, then uh, just go to 9 which I'll have a link for down in the description, and select uh, .NET right here, and then hit Get Installer, and then just run the installer that downloads here. Um, it'll just take a second to download. Okay, that's this one, and you can run this while this other one is downloading if you want to, uh, just to check if your .NET is installed, is up to date. I'll just click on it there, and it'll install. And then uh, you'll also need to download the Speech Jammer Lite for Windows. Just click on it, and it'll bring you to another page to download it. Just give it a second. My internet's being a little crappy today, I have to say. Okay, so now it is uh, downloaded, and uh, then I have the 9i installer here. I think now finally it'll run. Okay, so I'll hit run. So that's going to check if my .NET is up to date. Just If you want, just try running Speech Jammer, and if your .NET is up to date, it'll just run, and if it isn't, then you'll have to do this. So, uh, But if you do have to get your .NET, then you can get it through 9i. So then there's the Speech Jammer Lite.zip. Uh, you're just going to have to extract that zip folder, so just say show in folder, extract it, extract files, and it's going to extract it as a folder. And then I have it extracted already here. And then once you have it extracted and you have your .NET up to date, like 9 it will just check, it'll tell me it's up to date, I know I've used it on here. So uh, then you just double click on Speech Jammer Lite and it's going to pop up with this window. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky, is you have to pick what you want your... Uh, if not, it pops up with this, just hit yes. Um, what you want your microphone to be. Like, this is my built-in microphone, and then this is the microphone you're actually hearing right now, the one that uh, I'm using to make this video, so I'll use this other one. And then once you want to actually start the audio jamming, you hit start, but that doesn't actually start it, that just starts a timer. Then you have to hit jamming on. So then you hit jamming on, and then suddenly it becomes kind of hard to talk. Um, it'll have different effects for most people, but for me it doesn't affect me as badly as it does a lot of other people. I just normally, when I'm talking, add a lot of extra letters onto words with that ends in T. And also, I have to speak pretty slowly, so I'm going to turn it off now so that I can become understandable again. So you just hit jamming off to turn it off again. I don't know how badly I sounded while I was <laughs> speaking, but some people can really make it, their speech very bad. Some people are affected less. Depends how much you use it to. If you use it a lot, then it'll start affecting you less. So, But it's, it's fun to play with. Definitely fun to uh, screw with your friends. Um, one of the big things about it is when you're doing the jamming is make sure that you have your volume all the way up. Like go to the audio mixer or whatever and make sure that you have the actual audio all the way up and the speech timer all, audio all the way up. 
and have some sort of like noise canceling headphones because if they can hear their own voice still while they're while it's working then it won't affect them as much so if you if you can get some really good noise canceling headphones so that they can only hear what's coming through the headphones and can't hear themselves speaking then it'll work really 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 well so make sure to have it as loud as possible and as you can see Ninite here skip the it, because I'm already up to date but if I didn't have the newest dot net which you need for this then uh, it would install it so uh, and that's all there is to it if you have any questions just let me know I'll probably do a video of just me sounding like an idiot using this program so you can hear how it sounds but uh, for now that's how it works. <laughs>